Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Picked up a wee new item that I found in Iceland today. I've never seen this one before and they had a whole range of different things. I figured I would try this one, see what it's like. So this is Grill House 2 Chicken Kebabs Meal Kit. Um, don't think I've ever reviewed a chicken kebab on this channel before. I've definitely done Donner Kebab. I don't think I've ever done a chicken kebab. Um, so yeah, saw this in the freezer section. They had a few other options. I think it was mostly chicken, but it was all kind of kebab themed. Um, so yeah, I figured this uh, looks nice. So we'll see what it's like. So it's a two chicken kebabs meal kit. Chicken shawarma kebabs with two pita breads and garlic sauce. I do love a bit of garlic sauce. And you can see the serving suggestion there makes it look really, really tasty. So... Here's hoping. Um, so you cook from frozen in five and a half minutes. It's microwavable. Um, so yeah, so it's Iceland in the freezer section. Um, I think it's new. I've never seen it in there before. Um, so maybe you might find it in other shops. I don't know. I saw that we uh, read then. We'll read the description on the side. Um, so it's 350 grams, the whole thing. Grill House 2 Chicken Kebabs Meal Kit. A meal kit containing cooked and sliced marinated chicken leg meat with two pita breads and a sachet of garlic sauce. Doesn't sound unreasonable. Uh, so there's a whole thing of preparation instructions there. Uh, so I did this in... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I did this in the microwave. Um, and I'll just show you kind of how the packaging comes. So it's a box. Obviously, you open it up. You get one packet which has your two pitas in it. You have another packet which has your, I think that was the pita one actually, which has your chicken in it. And then you have one sachet of the garlicky sauce. It, uh, it looks like the special sauce, all right. Um, so to cook this, you do it in the, you can do it in a few different ways actually. You can pan fry the chicken. I'm assuming that's probably gonna be the nicest way to do it. But I did it in the microwave because couldn't be bothered with frying anything. Uh, so it's uh, two minutes, give it a stir, two and a half minutes for the chicken. And then the pit of breads go in for a minute and a half. There's your whole list of ingredients, quite a few of them there, but I uh, don't think anything too crazy. Cooked chicken kebab, 46%, garlic sauce, 14%, and then the pit of bread is 40%. Sounds about right. <clears throat> Uh, allergy, advice. allergy advice, yeah, you've got uh, may contain celery, egg and sesame seeds, but it definitely, definitely contains soya, mustard, milk and wheat. So if you've got allergies, probably not going to be great for you. Uh, warning, although every effort has been made to remove all bones, some may remain. So let's have a look at our nutritional information. You've got pear half pack consumed. So if you had <clears throat> one of these, I'm going to eat both of them for my lunch, but... We'll go by one. Uh, so pair one, 397 calories. Uh, fat, 15.9 grams, of which 2.6 grams is saturates. 41.4 grams carbs, 4.6 grams of that sugar, 3.1 grams of fiber, 20.5 grams of protein, and then 2.6 grams of salt. So yeah, kind of high in stuff, but hopefully that means it'll be nice. Well, there you go. Who makes this actually? Packed for Best Foods Limited at Annabelle's Farm, Annabelle's Lane, in Harpenden. Hertz. Interesting. All right, well, I guess I should show you what I've got then. So that's the box. <clears throat> um, quite a nice wee package in there. So I've already showed you the, the garlic sauce, you've seen that. Um, so it comes with your two pita breads, which I have microwaved. Quite airy as well, which is good. So if you want to make them into like pockets like like so you can which is good um, i'm not going to do that though because i feel like if i do put the, put the chicken in the pockets i'm not going to have enough chicken um because this is how much chicken you get maybe try not to get the spoon everywhere um so that's how much chicken you get <clears throat> which is fine that's that's enough i would say no under normal circumstances if you're doing this properly you're going to fill your pita with other stuff as well right you're going to do salad you're going to put some onions in there uh, maybe some jalapenos or some pickles if you're so inclined. Um, so you're going to bulk it out with other stuff. Whereas I don't really have any of that stuff. Also, we're just kind of trying to, wanting to taste the thing as it comes. So for me, it's literally just going to be pita, chicken and garlic sauce. Which would still be 
quite nice, hopefully. Assuming the flavours are there. It's quite aromatic. So it does smell like chicken shawarma. It also smells a bit sweaty, which uh, yeah, microwave meats sometimes do. So I think we'll, uh, we'll make up a wee thing here. But before I do that, I'm going to have a delicious sip of a beverage called Iron Brew Extra. Ah, mouth's a little dry. Mm, delicious. Not sponsored, I just love Iron Brew. Right, let's go. We'll spoon on some chicken here. Actually, now that I'm starting, I probably should have filled the pocket. There's actually quite a lot of chicken. A lot of feels, it's a lot more chicken than it looks. <laughs> um, that's all right, we'll just go, we'll go a bit more. Go a bit more, if we can get it. It's less chicken leg meat, right? So it should be flavorful. There's our chicken leg meat in there. And we'll get our garlic sauce. Should cut a wee corner. But, all right, let's get some garlic sauce on here. Can we smell the garlic sauce? It smells garlicky. Right. <laughs> I do like garlic sauce. I always get a bit of garlic sauce from the kebab shop if I uh, have the option. Right. There you go. All right, that's a chicken. Uh, oh, I love iron brew, but that's what it does to me. <laughs> so that's a chicken kebab. So this is Grill House, two chicken kebabs meal kit, chicken shawarma ke kebabs with two bit of bread and garlic sauce. There's one there. Let's um, let's give it the old taste test then, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that garlic sauce is a lot tangier than I was expecting to be. Mmm. I want to try just a bit of the chicken on its own. <clears throat> should have got a, <laughs> should have got a serviette, a kitchen roll or something. I'm kind of making a mess here. Hmm. Oh, you know what? That's nice. Yeah, quite like that. Um, the pitas are um, maybe a little bit on the chewy side, which I'm not, not surprising really, considering they've been frozen and then microwaved. But they're not too chewy, so they're okay. Um, the garlic sauce, I feel like the garlic sauce could maybe be a bit garlickier. Just I like I like really garlicky things, so it could maybe be a bit garlickier. But there's definitely garlic flavour. It's quite tangy, so I think it's uh, probably got vinegar in it, which is nice. I quite like that. And then the chicken is nice, yeah. Nicely spiced. Um, it's got flavour, got a decent amount of flavour, um, but it's not spicy at all, so it's flavourful, so it's good. Um, Texture-wise, the chicken is fine. It's a lot like the when you buy chicken from the shop for, like, sandwiches, and you can buy packets of, like, sliced chicken and it comes in like tikka flavor or just regular um it's kind of like that only heated up and with a shawarma spice on it so it's quite nice texture is good it feels and tastes like chicken which i can't say that for all microwavable chicken things i've had let's be honest so yeah that's good good combination of things um, the chicken's nice, the pita is quite nice, um, and the sauce is nice. Probably sauce wouldn't be to everyone's taste, but I like it, I like the flavour. Um, yeah, really good. That's nice, and I think that was, uh, it was part of a three for ten pound deal in Iceland, so, for that packet. So yeah, I reckon, you know, if you, um, bulk that out with, um, I reckon you could cut the, the pitas in half and have two pita pockets 
and then bulk it out with you know some salads, some onions, other stuff like pickles and things, tomatoes maybe, um, maybe a bit of cheese. If you want a bit of cheese, you know, bit, all that to bulk it out alongside the chicken. You've got yourself enough food there to feed two people for sure. It does say it serves two, so I think if you did it with all the accompaniments, um, accoutrement is that uh, is that the right word? Uh, if you did it with all the bits. Then yeah, you could definitely feed two people with that wee side of chips or something. Um, so yeah, that's nice. I like that, and uh, I would have that again. I think next time, uh, if I, when I buy it again, which I probably will, I will probably fry the chicken, get a bit of char going. I think I would probably be a lot nicer. But yeah, that's tasty, tasty, and um, the quality is all right. So yeah, not a bad find that. I would definitely have that again. Well, that'll do it for today. That was the Grill House Two Chicken Kebabs Meal Kit from Iceland. I got it in Iceland. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but uh, certainly if you see it somewhere else, let me know. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out. And uh, yeah, just go on the channel. Have yourselves a SnapTube marathon. There's about a million videos on there for you to watch. So go and check them out. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've tried this and um, what you reckon I should try next. And I will catch you all in the next one. I'll see you then. Cheers.